everybody, it's Amanda from ScreenPinMummy.co.uk. Today I'm going to revamp um, quite an old idea. You'll have seen it before, I know I've made it before, years and years and years ago, long before I ever joined Stampin' Up! And it's basically an origami envelope. But what we're going to do is we're then going to use it to create um, a little stationery gift. So, what you're going to need is um, some 12 by 12 preferably double sided this is from Petal Promenade it's absolutely stunning and the good thing about this paper is you've got a really bold busy print on one side and a plain one on the other which is gonna go brilliant in this project I'm also using one of these sheets from this paper stack which has got these lovely panels that you can cut out Absolutely brilliant if you're into journaling or craft, uh, scrapbooking, anything like that. And also you can use these for card fronts. Brilliant. Ready made. Good to go. All you've got to do is stamp a sentiment. So put that to one side and I'll show you first of all how to make the envelope. And then I'm going to show you how to make everything to go in it. So you get your piece of 12 by 12. I'll just zoom out so you can see the full thing. Out a bit more. Oh, my desk messer. <laughs> so, can you see the full 12 by 12 there? So, you first of all go corner to corner. Okay. And at this stage, it doesn't matter which side's which. You can, you can uh, change the uh, format of it later on if, you know, you've got the wrong side out. If you know what I mean. Okay, corner to corner. And it doesn't terribly matter if it's not exactly... Flush, you know, it's not one of those origami projects that it's got to be exactly lined up. So, and then you go in, so you've gone corner to corner, and you're going to go corner to corner again, the other way. Okay, like so. Nice sharp creases. Super, super simple. That's lined up a bit cockeyed. Let's have another go. See if I can just get that lined up a bit better. Don't forget, you know, your 12 by 12 might not be, you know. I don't think they've used a plumb line when they've cut them. So they might not be perfect. So if you're really, really, really fussy, then, you know, check it on your trimmer and make sure it's exactly 12 by 12. So that's that corner. So you've got the four corners. Okay. And then you want to go each corner and fold to the centre point. Okay, it's a bit like a flick flap, pick a colour, pick a number. So we're doing that. Okay. Super easy. You can make a heap of these. I've done these for swaps back in the day. Um, I love them. And um, I was looking through some of my old project photos the other day. And remembered that and remembered basically about these um, and thought why not have a go with stamping up products right so we've got that to there now okay so then all you do is you fold it in half now let me just check I'm gonna have it the um, shall I yes I'm gonna have it the other way so because I want my flowers on the inside and I want that bit on the outside, okay, I'm just going to refold those the other way, I think. I don't know, I can't decide, I quite like the busyness of it to be honest. Mm, no, I'm not, I'm having the flowers. <laughs> I couldn't decide which way to have it then, sorry. Indecisive. So then all you do is you get your project, turn it over and then fold it in half like so. And here you have a origami envelope. Now, there's several ways you can use these. You've got a pocket there and a pocket there. You can just tape just neatly down the edge there so that you've got a top pocket as well. And then you've got a pocket there and pocket there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my pocket, my second flap over, which will close off the possibility of using that bit there, but I'm not bothered. I want that um, to be sturdy because I'm going to put something in the back. So I'm going to um, tape all of this down. Um, and glue those two flaps together. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
so I'm going to go with Tombow. I don't see why not. Okay. And that will glue that flap down and I want to glue all of this closed as well. Fold that in half, give it a press so it all glues and stays firmly shut. Let me get my bone folder and give that a press to encourage that glue to adhere and to spread out. And this like marble effect on the other side is so on trend. Um, Stamping up, I've got this paper just right. Okay, so now that will fold. Just gently refold that over. And now you have your lovely origami envelope. You could turn that into a clutch bag. You could do what you want with it. Um, <laughs> I think it's lovely. Now I was going to line mine with, um, with this. Um, and I think I will. So this is actually a non-stamping up uh, contraband item. Oh, <gasps> gasp! But I found it in my stash. I've had it gifted at some point. You can buy it. I've seen it locally. I know that uh, ladies in America can get it from, you know, Michael's or Joanne's. Something like that. It's not a hard. And you can buy little trims everywhere. It's not really a kind of stamping up type of thing, isn't it? This kind of trim. So I don't feel guilty. <laughs> I don't feel guilty using contraband because stamping up don't do these. So I'm going to use my new perky tool, which I love. Um, okay. And I'm going to put some more tape that way. I would normally use hot glue, to be honest, but um, since I've moved in my new craft room, I have misplaced um, my hot glue sticks. No idea what I've done with them since I've moved, well actually it's since I moved house, so I might have to go and invest in some more, but not to worry, we'll, we'll make do with red line tape. Um, Ouch, just stabbed myself then. And if you're searching for red line tape on eBay, Amazon, just type in red line tape. Okay. Just trim that end off. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on there like so. And then just go coax it around the corner. Now this is why hot glue is slightly more advantageous, it's slightly neater, but not to worry. Okay, and then just trim that off, like so. Right, and then I'll show you how we're going to do a closure. Um, in, in fact, I'm just going to put a, I should have done that first really. I don't know if I'm going to get that in there now. Oh, I am. So, am I going to do a whole? I don't know. I've not decided yet how I'm going to fasten it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, <laughs> so what I've got to go inside. Okay, so, although we've got a lot of pink here, um, I just fancied using this panelled section here. And to me, it looked like the, you know, lilac -y tones looked better so we're using Highland Heather and I've created some little gift cards and the squares in the um, in that DSP that I've just shown you are exactly three by three so I've cut some um, Highland Heather and I've cut this to I think six and a half I think it's six and a half Six and a half by three and a quarter, score it at three and a quarter, okay? And that then gives you four little note cards. So, here is my little one that I did cut out earlier. 
and using the stitched all around I'm going to use this one oh darling you are fabulous and also enjoy your special day mm, what have I already got I'll have an enjoy your special day okay that's this one If you prefer to keep it all in the pink tones, you know, just use um, the new petal pink DS, uh, cardstock and ink. You can use, you know, whatever you want. You can have a bit of sky blue with yellow dots on if you like. Whatever you like. Okay, so that's that stamped. And I'm just going to quickly adhere that on here. Now another step you can do is make some little envelopes on your envelope punch board. You just go to the card size for three and a quarter by three and a other. I think so. Yeah, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. That's upside down. Um, and follow the instructions. I haven't made any here because I didn't want my video to be too long. But I, I am going to be gifting this. And before I gift it, I will more than likely make some little envelopes to go with it. So I've got two of that one and two of that one. And they will just slide in there like so. Okay, so along with your little envelopes if you want to make them, my project's still a bit wet so my, it's curling a bit. You might want to leave it to dry and put it under a heavy book. Now what I've also done is I have also cut out some more of the little panels. If I just bring you that DSP and show you again, we've got these larger panels here. And all I've done is just cut them out, rounded the corners, and here, presto, you've got some little, they could use those as tags or little journaling cards, whatever. It's like a little stationery kit. So we're going to stick that in the back there. Okay, so that's that. And then for around the back here, you've got two pockets there. I found these long stationery books. Cheap as chips, I think they're like, um, you know... Shopping list books, it measures, let me see, this one in particular measures 8 and 1 eighth. There you go, by 8 and 1 eighth by 2 and 3 quarters, okay? Or you could alternatively use these little calendar booklets. You know, you can pick them up in your pound shops, your Dollar Trees, your wherever. You can pick them up. You normally get like these, I think you get four for a pound. I think these were 10 pence each. It doesn't have to be expensive. So I just need to um, make a, a little layer for this. And I've forgotten, oops, I'm banging my camera. I've forgotten to leave myself some cards uh, DSP out so let me get some more I'm going to use this one use the same one Ugh, just drop that on the floor so let's see so what did I say it measured we're making it up now guys as we go this is as far as I've planned so 8 and 1 eighth. so if I do that to um, 9 and a half by cut it to nine and a half first so I want it that way do I yeah nine and a half let me just move that ink before I stick my arm in it so I want it nine and a half long okay this is where you'll hear my brain wearing I smell rubber burning whatever so nine and a half and I said it was Two and three quarters wide, did I? Let me re-measure it. Two and three quarters, so I'm going to do it just over. So two and three quarters is there. I'm going to do it two and seven eighths, just so that there's a tiny lip, um, just to allow for any, you know, where I've not quite lined it up right. And then I said it measures. What did I say? I've forgotten again. <laughs> it's gone. Eight and one eighth. Okay, so. I'm going to score it first of all at eight and a quarter. Okay. Very gently because it is only paper. And then I reckon I only need an eighth of an inch to go over the spine. Just measure your spine and give it a little bit of a a little bit of a score line, which is where I've lost it. It's there. Okay. 
it'll just go over and over your book better if you if you do that let me just rearrange my desk my tidy <laughs> i can zoom in a bit now can't i so let's zoom in ever so slightly um i seem to have lost the ability to remember how i zoom in there we go i forgot for a minute then i have to work my own camera um so my notepad's here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna very very gently remove that okay we don't want that ugly paper okay um and now if that doesn't quite reach oh just there we go nice job some nice firm tape on there like so so easy to cover notebooks and I think this idea would be great at a craft fair you know if you just did some did some up really beautiful you'd sell these no problem absolutely no problem this would also make a brilliant um, class if you do classes or workshops and if you're a crafter like me these are beautiful to make and send to your crafty friends which is what I shall be doing right so let's line that up on there now okay and get that lined up I want it lined up nicely and those measurements are perfect because it just goes to the bottom of the book and it opens like so right so that goes in the back of our origami envelope it will fit it better fit it fitted earlier <laughs> it does fit but like I say you can add anything you like there let me just Why doesn't that fit? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to... Um, what I'll do is, when I get off camera, is I'll just get my big massive guillotine and just chop a sliver off of there so that it just fits in a little bit nicer. It's because I've got the note cards in the front as well. Okay. Let me just give that... A, there you go, it fits. It fits! There we go. Now, so what we're going to do for the closure is I've cut one of these little, it's kind of like a doiler, and this is from the Spot of Tea set, and we're going to stamp, I don't know if I want lavender on the front, I can't decide if I do or not. Do I want pink? Hmm. Do you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm not bothered. I'm going to have... Um, oh, darling, you are fabulous. Let me just have a look. If I decide I don't like it, I'll turn it over and stamp it in a different colour. If I think it's not going to match or it's going to clash. No, I think that's nice. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to get this, which is a petal pink it would have been too light to stamp in the petal pink okay and I'm just going to ink the edge of that ever so slightly okay like so just to help it to help it blend a little bit with the pink paper that's pretty isn't it what a lovely colour there we go mm, that's fine okay. and that's going to go on the front way in dimensionals in a minute let's see what uh, gems have we got let's stick some gems on why not Let's have, get off, some of these little pink gems, we'll have one on the darling and one 
down here. Just a little bit random. Okay. And then it wants to go, we want dimensionals either side. One. Two. Like so. And then I'm going to close it with this dotty tool from Stampin' Up. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around like so. Okay. Get myself quite a decent length. Trim that off. Hope you can see the light in here's pants. Keep it central. Okay, and then stick your sentiment over the top so it keeps that ribbon in place for you. Okay, and there we go. We're going to have that over like so. Ta da! And then it fastens, and we tighten a knot there, and we tighten a bow, which I hate doing. Hit it. Oh my god. I won't faff too long with it, I promise. So <laughs> well, I might do. I don't know. <laughs> I think I need to faff with that a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it on camera or else I'll end up faffing. I'd fluff that um, bow out and make it a bit more full. And what I might do is actually tie another bow so it looks like it's a double bow but there you go so there it is your origami stationery envelope which has got a bit of a shabby shape twist to it i think that's turned out lovely i hope you'll give it a try and um, check out the petal 